Hello and welcome to another Miniature Tanks Company video. In this video, we will be assembling the Pershing, a 28 millimeter tank for Miniature Tanks Company, uh, a kit, assembly kit. So here's the video. Um, first, what you wanna do is take these two pieces and you can put those together. So, you can see here, um, so right here, you can see this needs to be the back. So if it looks like this, that's wrong. This needs to be on the back, these designs, and then this needs to be on the front. Yep, so just take this piece, dab some glue on it, All right, once you got the glue on it, then you can just set this piece down. All right, so now that the glue has dried here, um, you just have to have, make sure that these were all aligned around here. Looks good. So the next part of the mission is to glue the tank um, like this so zooming in a little bit here i had initially the tracks like this that's not correct what you need to do is have this part line up like this and this part meet up at this angle here and you can see how that will line up correctly so for this part of the task, what I'm going to do is dab some glue here. All right, so now that that's there, what you want to do is just go ahead and set the this middle part of the tank on top of that. And it's fairly easy um, from here, let's zoom in. From the bottom here you can see how things are lining up like this and of course just take it like this make sure it's lined up once it's lined up then you can let it sit there for a bit but while that's gluing that part of it I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece dab the glue on here All right, and then so this piece you can set um, like this. So yeah, it's important to not do what I just did. <laughs> and just take and make sure it's aligned along there. And once that's aligned, you can set it on the side and just carefully leave it there to glue. All right, so coming back after this has glued a bit, and you see it's looking pretty nice. Now, some of these pieces may have some little pieces of hair, hairy type plastic, so you can uh, sand this down and get rid of that stuff or clip it away. All right, so next what you wanna do is uh, Put on the tracks and now you can see this doesn't look right um this goes on the other side and you can see it it fits well that way so the best way to figure that out is to kind of visualize that another way to figure this out is to look at it from this side you see here it looks good but over here it's not aligning well if we just flip the piece, you can see all of these line up pretty well. And you can see it lines up pretty well on that side too. So the next task is for us to go ahead and glue this piece together. So I'm gonna go ahead and dab glue all over these surfaces. Now 
All right, once you have felt there's enough glue applied, just slide in the tracks like that. And you can go ahead and look at it from the other side. And so you can see in closely here, you can align the tracks with the wheels pretty well. So that's aligned pretty well on that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry here. All right, so I let the tracks glue. And so now you have the hull of the tank completed. You can see through it. <laughs> but now let's go ahead and get the turret uh, made. So the turret comes in these three parts. First step of the turret creation is to take your hobby pliers and to cut away at this sprue. So the top and the bottom of the turret here are done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take and dab some glue on here. Then just gently and take the turret, slide it on until, until it's flush with the, the other side of the bottom, well, the bottom of the turret. You can use, be careful not to get glue on your fingers, but you can use your fingers to kind of secure this in place. And now we're going to focus on this part. Now for this part, I recommend using safety glasses because when removing supports like from uh, this gun, pieces can go flying. So take your hobby pliers, begin here and see how the pieces can go flying. So, Make sure you wear those safety glasses. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, but the idea is just to carefully snip away at this with your hobby pliers. All right, so just be careful when you work on removing those supports. This is um, more difficult than some of the other models to remove the, this uh, structure underneath the turret. And then you can clean it up with sandpaper or whatever you like to make all those marks go away. And so next, there's actually these little supports here, right here. So you can just take and um, take your hobby pliers, get rid of those. So you can just take and go like this. And like I said, you can you can take a sandpaper and sand this down, make it look a little better. But right now I'm just taking the hobby pliers and doing most of the work for that. All right, so this turret is ready. I'm sorry, this gun is ready for the turret. I'm gonna take this uh, turret, it's glued now. All right, so then the last but not least part of this procedure is to take and glue on this part of the turret. So just make sure that it's flush here. Get rid of any plastic here that is built up. All right, so next step, take your glue and dab it on.
Once your glue is on there, it's fairly easy to figure out how to just put this on there. And what you might want to do is go ahead and just hold it there. Um, of course, this all depends on the type of hobby glue that you're using. Some hobby glues set really fast. Some leave you a bit of time to figure out how to place it. All right, so last but not least, take your turret, put it into the hole, and there you have the Pershing, the 28 millimeter tank from Miniature Tanks Company. The kit is assembled. You can see it's a pretty big tank. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.